Our Lord was correct. You are alive. Do you remember me, Kane, who served you so well? It was Faustus, one of the legionnaires of my army of vampires. An indifferent <sighs> soldier, but now a traitor to our race. Faustus, it's true then. I hardly believed it. Vampires have turned against their own kind. What is our kind? In serving the Seraphim, I have protection, I have power. And who better to hunt down a vampire than a more powerful vampire? History is written by the winners, Kane. That is my kind. How many of us have been destroyed by the Seraphim? How many have been brought to their deaths by you? I care not for those destined to die. I don't weep for them, and I won't weep for you. Look around you, Faustus. Does your victory seem so assured now? A fleeting setback. Our Lord knows of your presence. He beat you before, and he will bury you now. But you will never know how it ends, Faustus. For I will bury you first of all.
Sir, the rumors speak true. Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Kane. We were not friends. Will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me. I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you wage war upon Nosgoth? Begged? I never begged. In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. That's the Marcus I remember. When the Seraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Seraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, Cain. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will kneel to me, Cain, and the Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. What? Impossible. What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung. My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. You may find the good Bishop, Cain, but when you do, he will. Not if I reach him first. You there. You are to conduct me to the bishop's manor on the instant. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. Not me, you fool. You know me. Cain. Cain is the one you seek. Well, he's not going to stop and tell us his name. You're to kill him on sight. Those are our orders. Greetings, old man. I assume that I address the Bishop of Meridian. I seek information on gaining access to the Saraphan Keep. You are to give me passage inside. I am sent by Vorador. What ails you? Speak! He speaks only at my command. What? You are too late, Kane. He is entirely in my power. Release him and I may spare your life. I hold the cards now, Kane. Surrender yourself to me, or I will kill him. What do I care for the life of some mortal? But the thought of killing you at last entices me. Tell me, Marcus, do you truly believe you can stop me? Stay back. You cannot win. The bishop will tell you nothing while he remains under my power, and you will never catch me. Ah! 
right here. You can catch me.
think you can catch me? Yes, I do. I must thank you for destroying that fiend. He, he, he robbed me of my mind. He was a novice. Bishop, I require your help. Vorador has sent me to gain passage to the Sarafan Keep. One of our associates is held captive there. A fool's errand to enter the very maw of the beast. But yes, I will help you. I will take you there. I will show you the entrance. soul has the misfortune of interrupting my feeding. One who shares your thirst and your curse. Ah, a voice from the past. So the rumors are true. Cain walks Nosgoth again. How do you know me, creature? How I would love to dispatch you here and now. And yet, I am required elsewhere. Good night. Wait! How do you like my handiwork, Cain? It's been a good night's feeding. You're a sloppy butcher, vampire. You jeopardize your presence by such bloodletting. But it isn't my presence that's in danger, Cain. It's yours. You serve the Seraphan, then? I serve no one but myself. Ah, I'd forgotten how much I loathe your arrogant tone. It will be a pleasure to silence it for good. We shall meet again soon enough. Sire! A body! We found a body, sire! It won't be the last. He is here. I sense the taint of his overblown arrogance. Double the guards in the power chamber. He must not be allowed to approach the Nexus Stone. Who is it, sire? An old friend who will learn his place in the world at last. If you see or hear anything out of the ordinary, report to me at once.
Behold the great Cain, now a common thief. The fiend that dogged my shadow showed himself at last, and in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further, and now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me, but I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly, and all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphon Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me. No one fool. 
fools me with my own trick. No! It can't be! It burns! Tell me of the Nexus Stone and this portal. What is its purpose here? Speak, and I will spare your life. <coughs> Come, Cain. You lie in your throat, and we both know it. You are going to kill me. Indulge me, then, before you die. I'll tell you so that I may see your face when you learn. You are powerless. You cannot win. Your death is inevitable. The Nexus Stone's portal leads to an ancient device, deep underground, that will spell your destruction, Cain. A new reign will begin in Nosgoth. What is the purpose of this device? How will it serve the Seraphan Lord? Alas, he has not entrusted me with that knowledge. But soon, everyone will know it. His plans are even now coming into fruition. Where is the device? Where under the Earth? It lies beneath Meridian. Seek for it, if you will. I die happy in the knowledge that all your efforts will be wasted. Oh, Sebastian. Our destiny could have been glorious. The land was ours for the taking. History would have been rewritten in our image. But not everyone shared my vision. And now your time is up. Your death will only make me stronger. I hope that knowledge comforts you in your grave. hundred ounces or twenty stone, you may go!
Sire, wait! What trickery is this? No trickery, sire. I am your servant once again. Your champion. Pathetic wretch. I have no... Magnus? Could it be? It is I, sire. How is this possible? Here, in this cursed place, was my finest warrior. The Seraphon had fallen before him by the score. Together, he and I were invincible. Until... Magnus, the traitor. Is this your reward for betraying me to the Seraphan Lord? Sire, I did not... You left my camp in the night to join with my enemy, like all the others. Sire, no. I wanted only to serve you. I thought in my pride I would strike a blow that would end the war. I went to kill the Seraphan Lord, alone. I was your champion. You never returned. I failed you. I tried to kill him. Even now, I cannot remember how he defeated me. I was struck down, helpless at his feet, and then, through his foul magic, he took my mind and transported me here to this hellhole. But what of you, sire? I heard that you were dead. Or not so dead as some would like to have me. As you see, I have returned. Magnus, my champion, you have suffered long enough. It is with pride that I grant you your death. Sire, my thanks.
No! At last. What living soul disturbs my order? What creature dares shed the blood of my servants? He had the sword. Soul Reaver, the prize I had won a lifetime ago, was in his foul possession. What is this? You know me. No. You were utterly destroyed. So easily, your name was drowned in the backwaters of passing time. All your plans were set alight and seared to smoke and ashes. Let those words be your epitaph. You dare dream of killing me. That fantasy was quenched in blood long ago when I defeated you. And yet, you have learned nothing. Such a pathetic creature. Dare you to challenge me again? Die, fiend! No, Cain! Your death is fated at my hands. How many times must I teach you that lesson? He is too strong for you, Cain. With the Soul Reaver, he can kill us both. We must flee and fight him when we are stronger. No. Release me. That demon of filth is mine. I am your fate, Cain. Now and forever. However long you delay, you will come to me for your fate. The charlatan emperor rears his head. You are far from home, Dark One. Spare your speeches, demon. Your secrets are known to me now. Your plans crumble like dust, brought down by my will. You have struggled longer than expected, but nothing has changed. You see before you your death. Know you not that your vaunted device is destroyed? Your hope of controlling Nosgoth lies in ruins. This world is mine. You understand nothing. You are a degenerate remnant of a cursed race, doomed to walk the night as a parasite. Your life is easily snuffed out as those you feed on to survive. My race is but a warped parody of our former beauty. We are, like you, fallen gods, scratching for our former power. We will prevail. We will cleanse this world of your kind and bring about a new glorious age. Die, Cain. <sighs> the Nexus Stone. <laughs> Fitting, isn't it? The very item you used to defeat me now turned against you. You're finished. It matters not. The gate remains open, and even as we speak, my army, the likes of which this soft world has never seen, prepares to enter. Moskov is still mine for the taking. The Hilden City's defenses have been broached. Janos can no longer sense a ward barrier. It's my doing. I've shut down their foul magics, at least for a time. Then we are ready to help you. Janos is casting a spell that will bring us to you in moments. Excellent. I look forward to thanking you in person for saving Uma's life. Yes, of course. to detect the location of the Hilden Gate. Where's Uma, Kane? I cannot sense her. She will not be joining us. Uma is dead, is she not? Were you too late? No. She suffered the fate she deserved. She stole the Nexus Stone from me. So you refused to help her? I dealt with her as I deal with all traitors. I killed her accordingly. You did what? I did as you would have done, Vorador, to any human or vampire who defied your will. Monster! She chose her fate. Was she acting as the dutiful lieutenant, following her superior's orders? I care not. What's done is done. We were wrong ever to trust you. Do you so wish to return to the grave, old friend? You are in no position to challenge me. No, oh, we have no time for this discord. I sense that the Hilden Gate is nearby. I can transport us there. We will settle this in good time. Tonight, the Saraphan Lord dies. Tomorrow, we shall see. Ah! Ah! No! The 
This round is mine, Dark One. I must tend to Vorador. Proceed without us, King. I can teleport you to a place near the gate, but you will have to close it on your own. Use the Nexus Stone, cast it into the gate, and the magic of the stone will destroy it utterly. Cast your spell then, and let us finish this. At last, I had hunted my prey to his very lair. The Hilden Gate was before me, from which the Hilden General, in his guise of a Saraphan Lord, planned to bring forth his alien armies and destroy us all. Turn, vile demon! Your reckoning day has come! Cain. Did you think you could defeat me? All your plans are revealed, together with your true nature. Turn and enter the gate you have fashioned and join your kind before I obliterate it. Or stay, and be destroyed upon its rubble. I confess I did not expect to find you here, at the heart of my endeavor. You are indeed a more capable adversary than I have thought possible. You can ponder that thought when you have made your choice. Return to exile, or death. Do you think the day is over? Do you think it will end with me? Have you not wondered why so many of your trusted henchmen, time and again, bend their knees before me, accept me as their lord, and join their cause to mine? Cowards and traitors deserve no second thoughts, only their complete annihilation. Did it not occur to you that perhaps my cause, and not yours, is the cause of right, of justice? That your ambition to rule this world is but the youthful craving of a petty noble who has gained too much power, but never enough? Silence, demon. Your need to corrupt is only too apparent. But every traitor that you have turned to your will from my side, even Uma, your latest spy, is dead. Uma? I have no spy called Uma. You lie! You and your damn stone!
evil. I am immortal! blood you built your evil plans. What could be more righteous than to take our revenge and your freedom from the same source? Tortured eons of suffering are too good for you, vampire. But not for you, Hilden, who has dared to set a corrupting foot upon this world after your banishment. Return to the demon dimension in which you belong. And by what right, cursed one, did you send my kind to that place of evil? By what right did you lay on us the curse that drove us from the light and made us predators of humankind? It was justice for our banishment from the world. You see what it has made of our once fair race. I see you have taken your true form at last. Then go and see what it makes of you. Ah! Ah! Cain! The sword! I sentence you to the hell of your own making. A prisoner for all time. No! Cain! And now, it is your turn. Should your kind breach that place of banishment again, I will be waiting. <laughs> you will not live that long. I have lived long enough to dispose of you.
Uma. What was it she said to me in that fatal moment when she took from me the Nexus Stone? How would my rule differ from that of the Saraphan Lord? If you had lived, Uma, you would have learned the difference. You should have trusted me. The war was over, and yet there was another battle to be fought. The cruel masters of Nosgoth, the Saraphan, now leaderless, still had to be put down. There were cities to be rebuilt, and order to be restored, and a new rule. My rule would then begin. To the victor go the spoils. At last, Nosgoth would be mine.